The time is finally here. I'm going to Cancun in three days. Right now it's Thursday and I want to do a prep pack and travel with me. I have never made one of these videos other than when I went to LA and a lot of you liked it so I want to make another one. First things first which is going to be the only clip that I have right now. I have a very very bad burn on my foot. Like I walked on pavement and it was a whole problem three weeks ago. I thought it healed. It didn't heal and it's actually a second degree burn on the inside of my foot. So if you look on the outside of my foot, which obviously I'm not going to show you, but on the outside of my foot, it's completely healed, everything like that. But the burn went through my foot because I stepped on pavement by a pool and it was very hot and I didn't realize. And I was probably on the pavement for about five seconds and it burnt my foot so bad that it went through my foot. I had to go to the doctor. She gave me cream, but I'm in very bad pain. So that's the downfall of this. The good part is I got a little package and I want to do a little haul of what I got. So this is from Sheen. As I said, I'm going to Cancun. Me and my boyfriend are going for five days, so stay tuned for that vlog. But I got these little shorts. I think they're so cute. I don't have a good pair of jean shorts, so I wanted to just get a pair really fast that I can throw on. Then I got a new bathing suit. Look at how cute this little bathing suit is. This reminded me of like mermaid, especially the little detail in the middle. So it's just blue and orange, and then it has like little pearls, if you guys can see, which I'm obsessed with. Then I got, obviously, the matching bottoms. These are very very small, little out of my comfort zone, but we'll see if I actually wear these. I might give them to my friend, but the top I love. And then I got this cute little cover up for Mexico and it looks like this. I think it's adorable and would look like really cute on the beach. So I'm really excited to wear this. For this video, I need to go to the gym. I really wanted to get my hair done. I don't think that's going to happen because I had to go to the doctor instead to make sure my feet were okay. Then I have to go to my apartment and pack. I just ordered a new suitcase and some packing cubes. I have to do my carry-on and then I also have to get my nails done. I might have to get my feet done. I'm not sure. I asked my doctor if I could get a pedicure. She said yes as long as I don't soak my feet in the hot water. So I might try, but I might just like file them down. It kind of depends on how I'm feeling. So I'm gonna leave my nails for Saturday just because I leave on Sunday and I think it's better to let them heal more than just go get a pedicure now. So we'll see how I'm feeling then. But I'm definitely going to get my nails done because these were from like three weeks ago and I want like orange or something for Mexico. So that is the plan. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to travel together and then I'll start a whole nother vlog once we actually get to Cancun. It is a little later now in the day on Thursday and I have to go to Target, my apartment, and also Walgreens. I made a list on my phone of everything that I need to get like from the store. So from Target and Walgreens, I need foot wrap to be able to put the medicine on my foot. I need travel size items. I needed a luggage tag, but my boyfriend's mom actually got us one. So we're good there. Then I need whitening strips and I was going to get self tanner but I feel like I shouldn't tan because I can't put the lotion on my feet and if I can't put it on my feet and I put it on the rest of my body then it's not gonna look the best so I think I'm not going to tan and hopefully just get tan in Mexico but do whitening strips for sure and then get my travel size items and my foot wrap from Walgreens and then for my apartment I need to get my camera which I can't forget because I'm giving this one to my friend for the weekend then I need my phone charger and my other camera camera charger and then my passport. I can't forget my passport or we're gonna have a huge issue. First things first, we're gonna go to Walgreens and Target. I just got out of Walgreens and I got a huge bag of travel stuff, but I still have to go to Target with my friend to get a whole other bag of stuff. So I'll just do a little haul. So I got mini shampoo and conditioners because I don't want to bring like the big ones just because I'm only going there for five days. I got Dove Sensitive Skin Soap because this is the only face soap I will use. Then I got these pain-free wraps for my feet because when I put my medicine on, I have to put this on or the medicine will like come off. Then I got this because of the pain. I got a little travel kit for toothpaste, mouth mouthwash and a toothbrush because I like to just bring like ones that I can throw out after the trip. I got SPF 50 sunscreen. Mom, this one's for you. My mom always yells at me about sunscreen so I got 50. Then I got Neutrogena makeup wipes. I got another one of these because I use them very fast. I got some Benadryl because I have allergies so just to be safe. Some Q-tips, deodorant. And then I got my dad a Father's Day card because I'm leaving on Father's Day so I'm going to give it to him on Saturday. And then I just got some Clorox wipes. That's everything I got from Walgreens. Now I'm going to go to Target and pick up my friend and get the other stuff that I need. 
my apartment. I have my suitcase, which is from Amazon. And then I got the new travel backpack, which I really like. And this was trending on TikTok, so I wanted to try it out. And it's a very cool material. Then I got this little beach bag. And then I have packing cubes, which I got from Amazon. And I'll link it on my storefront, but we're gonna start packing now and see how this all turns out. I can't show you like half of my apartment right now because it looks awful, so we're only working with this part. This is what the suitcase looks like. It's pretty big. And then I have my packing cubes. I am awful at packing. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just lay out everything on my bed and then kind of like plan my outfits by day. And then we'll put them in the packing cubes and into the suitcase. I just did the bathing suits and I lay them out on the bed. And now I'm going to put them in the packing cubes and then into the suitcase because this is what the rest of my bed looks like. And I'm getting confused. So we're gonna work with bathing suits first. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over I just laid everything out on the bed and now I'm gonna put it in the suitcase. I have going out outfit, cover-ups, gym outfits, beach bag, going out bag, jean jacket, sweatpants, and dresses for nighttime. And then I have to go home and get jeans. A new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride I just finished packing and I have like my packing bags. I only used a few of them and then I just laid the other stuff out because the suitcase is a little small, but this is the final product. It is the next day. I ended up going to Target very late, so I'll show you guys what I got. I literally got like three things. I'm going to the gym right now. The gym isn't a necessity for me to get ready for my trip, but I just like to go, especially when I'm going on a trip because when I go on the trip, I know that I'm not gonna be on my workout game as much, so it makes me feel better if I do go. So right now, it is Friday. It is 7 in the morning and I'm gonna go to an orange theory class. My feet are not doing well But the one thing I did get from Target are slides because yesterday I was wearing Chad slides and his foot is like a size Nine and a half I think and I'm a six so it just like didn't look right me wearing such a big shoe So I picked up slides from Target so I can like wear them on the plane so that my foot isn't like that closed in a shoe So it helps a little obviously it still hurts But the pain is better when I don't have to wear a sneaker so I'm literally only gonna wear a sneaker when I have to which is when I go to the gym right now I'm wearing slides and then I'll put on my sneakers once I actually get to the gym we're gonna go to orange theory and have a good workout I just took a shower and I'm gonna go get my nails done they currently look like this and I think I want to do orange like with chrome over it for Mexico so I feel like that would look really good I also do need to get my toes done but my toes really hurt right now so I might go back to the nail salon tomorrow depending on how they're feeling when I'm there but I'm definitely gonna go get my actual nails done because I need to and I think they'll look really cute if they're like orange also it's torrential downpouring outside so my hair is gonna get soaking wet so that's why I didn't even bother doing it I just got back from getting my nails done. They look so pretty. I went with an orange chrome and I think they look so good. And then I have a little story for you guys. So my toes were actually hurting so bad, but I was talking to the nail guy about it and he was like, I'll go really gentle. It won't like hurt at all. And I was like, okay, you know what? It's probably worth it. So my toes don't look bad for vacation because if I don't like the way they look in heels, I'm not gonna like my pictures. And then it's just gonna be a whole problem. So I was like, okay, you know what? I think I can deal with it. As long as you're gentle, I don't like like soak my feet I think it'll be okay so I did it and I got white on my toes I'm not gonna show you but it's just white gel and I got like an orange chrome color on my nails I love this color so much it reminds me of mermaids and I think it's really really pretty like look at that with that that is everything I'm gonna do for today tomorrow I have a jam-packed day I have to go to my grandma's because she wants to give me something for Mexico we have to go to a graduation party I have to do last minute packing I will show you what's in my carry-on tomorrow and then and I also have to whiten my teeth and go to the bank. So we're gonna do all that tomorrow together. We officially have one day until my trip and I am so excited, but I have a lot that I have to do. First things first, I have to do my eyebrows. I usually just tweeze them. And then I just took a shower, obviously. I went to the gym. I already checked in for my flight because it was a whole issue. We're flying JetBlue and JetBlue was asking for like passport numbers. And I was at the gym when I got the email to check in. So then when I came home, I was like, oh my gosh, there's no seats available because I booked on a 
Expedia. And sometimes on Expedia, they don't give you tickets like for the flight right away, even though you have a reservation. So I had to pay a little extra for the tickets, but it's okay because we're going to be in the second row of the plane. So we'll get on the plane really fast and off the plane really fast. That was literally the only two seats available next to each other. So I'm happy that I only waited an hour in between and I was able to get that done. So basically that was the rundown of that. I'm going to tweeze my eyebrows, put makeup on, and then do whitening strips because I have a lot to do today as I told you guys yesterday and I have like no time to do it. I just did my makeup for the graduation party and now I'm going to do whitening strips. I got these little whitening strips. I didn't want to get the Crest ones because they were $30 and these were only $15. So I'm going to brush my teeth and put these strips on. I think they have to stay on for 15 minutes. my grandma's house and she gave me this cute little bag it's for Mexico and I think it's so cute it's like a cute little beach bag we're gonna open it together I'm at my apartment now because I wanted to drop something off that she gave me and I had to pick up some clothes but she gave me this cute little towel which I think is adorable and perfect for the summer then she got me some socks and I feel like this is a necessity especially like in the hotel room I'm always cold so I'll definitely be bringing these then she got me some flip-flops and these say summer state of mind they're really cute then she gave me these little prints that my grandpa actually got from Japan which I'm going to use to like decorate my apartment. I'm going to bring this towel, the bag, the flip-flops, and the socks back to Chad's because we leave tomorrow from Chad's. So I'm going to bring all of this back so I can pack it. I'm pretty much almost done. I have to still go to the graduation party. I whitened my teeth so that's good. I have to still run to the store and just get eyeliner but I'm going to do that off camera really fast and that's honestly pretty much it other than my carry-on which I'll go through with you guys kind of like to show you what's in my carry on and stuff like that and then I think for this video I'm going to film a little bit in the airport just because I've never really done that like talking but I'm going to also include some clips like separately in another vlog that I actually start when going to Cancun I am going to Cancun for five nights six days and I don't know necessarily how I want to do it I don't know if I should do two vlogs or one big vlog or three vlogs so let me know what you guys think and what you would prefer and I'll definitely do that I'm just gonna get the clothes that I came here for and and then we're gonna go back to the store, go to the graduation party and pick out an outfit, obviously, because I'm not wearing this. I just got back from the graduation party. It was really nice to see everyone. And now I'm going to show you guys what I bring in my carry-on. I thought this would be kind of like a cool thing to show. My carry-on is from Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. I actually just got this backpack and I love it. There's so many compartments and honestly, this is the last thing I do for packing. So I guess I'm gonna start with this little pocket right here. This is kind of like my electronic pocket so I have a disposable camera then I have my camera charger my computer charger and then I have my headphones I actually have never brought these before but I'm bringing them this time so I kind of just put everything in here because it's a nice little pocket for it the next pocket I'm going to show you guys is this one right here so in this pocket I have mine and Chad's passport so just mine and his then I have my orange theory fitness band because I'm gonna be working out when I'm there and I like to track my workouts I have a little flower hair clip that I think is so cute and then I also have just like a claw clip and then the last thing I have is my adapter which could actually go in here we are going to move on to the big compartment so that's this compartment right here it opens all the way I'm just gonna lay it down in order to open it so nothing falls out I have this little makeup bag this is from Amazon and then I have all my makeup inside I like to do my makeup on carry-on just in case my luggage gets misplaced I'll have like the stuff that I need then I have my vitamins I have this little hat that Chad got me for Christmas. I love it and I think it's perfect for Mexico because it has a little turtle on it. Then I have my straightener. This actually is my boyfriend's mom's straightener because I forgot mine. She's so sweet and she lets me borrow it. Then I just have my face medicine. I have soap because this is like my favorite soap. Then I have a little coloring book for the plane. So this is a yoga animal so cute coloring book. I got it from Michaels and I love it. I just think it's adorable and then I have of course the case and colored pencils which is also from Michaels as well. I don't know, I just think it's nice to do when watching a movie or kind of just like listening to music. Then I have this little compartment right here. This came with my packing cubes and basically I just put all my travel size carry-on stuff in here. Probably wasn't a good idea to open this because it's stuffed, but I have everything in here. And then the last thing I have in this little compartment is just my computer with some stickers and a note that my friend wrote for me. And then the last little compartment I have is this one back here. 
here. When I open it, there's not much in it. I only have my retainer and then just a beach bag that I'm going to be bringing. Looks like this, I showed it earlier. I really like it, it's from Amazon and I just kind of shoved it back here because I ran out of room in my suitcase, so that's gonna have to work. And then the last thing I have in this bag is this little Purell. I always like to bring hand sanitizer of some sort, so I have this. That's basically everything that's in my carry-on. I think in the morning I'll just add some of the things that I need for nighttime tonight. But other than that, that's everything that I'm going to be bringing in this little bag right here. Now I'm just gonna go to my parents' house and celebrate Father's Day with my dad and then come home, go to sleep because we're getting picked up at 4.30 in the morning for our 7.40 a.m. flight. So I will update you guys then. It's 4.30 in the morning and we're going to the airport. We just got to the airport and the line to check our bags is literally out the door. So thank gosh we came early because if we didn't, I'd be like so scared that we were going to miss our flight. But I think it's going to be okay, but it's definitely going to take like an hour. So I just wanted to update you guys because that has never happened to me before. We are on the plane. We're a little delayed, but we're taking off in like 20-ish minutes. We just got to the hotel and I think we're gonna get something to eat really quick and I'll show you guys a sneak peek and then I'm gonna start my Cancun vlog. I wanna say that baggage claim, like going in took forever and getting our luggage back was awful. So I'll tell you guys that in the Cancun vlog travel series. Yeah. 